Yes, my people, good day. I am doing an oil change on this Nissan Versa. Nissan Versa. Some people want to say Nissan. Some people want to say Nissan. And we're going to install the oil filter and the drain plug. And I'm going to show you. All right. I don't want to say the proper way. I'm going to show you my way that I have been using for the past 20 something years in installing oil filters and drain plugs and have not stripped one out yet. Right? See, I put some marks on the oil filter here and you can just pay attention to the mark to see how much more I turn it after it starts to seat. You understand? So I'm hoping that everything will come out looking nice. Let's go. So my oil filter, I already removed it. One thing, one thing. Whenever you're working with these canister style oil filters, when you remove the old one, not this particular design though, but most of them, the gasket, the O-ring, can stay stuck on to the engine. And then now you didn't realize it. And then now you're installing the new one with the gasket already. And it's called double gasket or double ring it. And it will leak. Big puddle. Long line of oil going out the bay. Because you didn't realize it. So anytime you take one of these off. Just look and make sure that there's no gasket left stuck on the engine itself. Just a little pro tip. Put a new crush washer on here from the dealer. <laughs> so yeah, I'm fancy. You're fancy, huh? You're the fancy, huh? Yeah, you see that? Nissan. What? I feel special. I'm feeling good. All right. So here we go. All right. And I give it much room in here, but make sure so there's not a gasket stuck onto here, so which it isn't. So I get up the new filter now. All right. Get it started. Spin it on. All right. All right. So now it, it's touching. Now it's touching. All right. It's touching now. It's it, it's got drag to it. You see how easy that. It's got drag, it's loose, kind of tight. So it's touching. When you get that feel right there where the O-ring just touch and it start to tighten up, right? See, we have a mark right there. So much more. One more mark, two more mark, three more mark, four more mark. And then now you start to feel where it's really binding up, right? And that's it. That is it. No need for no wrench or anything. And you put your hand on it like so. It's not moving. That's it. That is it. So now we're going to do the drain plug. I'll show you how that do. This drain plug is a 14. Put it in. Thread it up. All right. All right. Boom. This has this big old crush washer on there, which is fine. It'll crush, right? Notice the ease of what I'm doing here. The easy effort. All right. Start to tighten up now. Crush washer is there. All right. So now it start to tighten up. Watch, watch, watch me now. Barely a quarter turn. That's it. And then I'm testing it now to see how much force I need to turn it. And that's it. That is it. See how easy that was? How much effort I put into that? I just run it up until it really starts to put up a little bit of resistance. And then went almost a quarter turn. That's it. That is it. Call it a day. Kinda wipe it, kinda wipe it off a little bit still. Yeah, you know make your thing look presentable. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, bless. Yeah. And don't forget to go and subscribe to my YouTube channel.